The South Asian Stone Age covers the Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic periods in South Asia. Evidence for the most ancient anatomically modern Homo sapiens in South Asia has been found in the cave sites of Kudapa of India, Batadambalina and Belalena in Sri Lanka. In Mergar, in what is today western Pakistan, the Neolithic began c. 7000 BCE and lasted until 3300 BCE and the first beginnings of the Bronze Age. In South India, the Mesolithic lasted until 3000 BCE, and the Neolithic until 1400 BCE, followed by a megalithic transitional period mostly skipping the Bronze Age. The Iron Age began roughly simultaneously in North and South India, around c. 1200 to 1000 BCE painted grey ware culture, Halur. <laughs> Homo erectus Homo erectus lived on the Pathohar Plateau, in Upper Punjab, Pakistan along the Son River nearby modern-day Rawalpindi during the Pleistocene epoch. Soanian sites are found in the Savalik region across what are now India, Pakistan and Nepal. Biface handaxes and cleaver traditions may have originated in the Middle Pleistocene. The beginning of the use of Acheulean and chopping tools of the Lower Paleolithic may also be dated to approximately the Middle Pleistocene. The coming of Homo sapiens Analysis of mitochondrial DNA dates the immigration of Homo sapiens to South Asia to 75,000 to 50,000 years ago. An analysis of Y-chromosome haplogroups found one man in a village west of Madurai to be a direct descendant of these migrators. Cave sites in Sri Lanka have yielded the earliest non-mitochondrial record of modern Homo sapiens in South Asia. They were dated to 34,000 years ago, Kennedy 2000 to 180. For finds from the Belan in southern Uttar Pradesh, India radiocarbon data have indicated an age of 18,000 to 17,000 years. At the rock shelters of Bimbetka humans lived throughout the Upper Paleolithic 10th to 8th millennia BCE, revealing cave paintings dating to c. 30,000 BCE, and there are small cup-like depressions at the end of the auditorium rock shelter, which is dated to nearly 100,000 years. The Savalix and the Patwar Pakistan region also exhibit many vertebrate fossil remains and Paleolithic tools. Chert, jasper and quartzite were often used by humans during this period. Neolithic The Aceramic Neolithic Mergarai, Baluchistan, Pakistan, also dubbed, ''Early Food Producing Era'' lasts c. 7500 BCE. The Ceramic Neolithic lasts up to 3300 BCE, blending into the early Harappan Chalcolithic to early Bronze Age period. One of the earliest Neolithic sites in India is Lahoradewa in the Middle Ganges region and Jusi near the confluence of Ganges and Yamuna rivers, both dating to around the 7th millennium BCE. Recently another site along the ancient Saraswati riverine system in the present-day state of Haryana in India called Barana has been discovered yielding a dating of around 7600 BCE for its Neolithic levels. In South India the Neolithic began by 3000 BCE and lasted until around 1400 BCE. South Indian Neolithic is characterized by ash mounds since 2500 BCE in the Andhra Karnataka region that expanded later into Tamil Nadu. Comparative excavations carried out in Attakanalore in the Thirunelveli district and in northern India have provided evidence of a southward migration of the megalithic culture. The earliest clear evidence of the presence of the megalithic urn burials are those dating from around 1000 BCE, which have been discovered at various places in Tamil Nadu, notably at Attakanalore, 24 km from Tirunelveli, where archaeologists from the Archaeological Survey of India unearthed 12 urns containing human skulls, skeletons and bones, husks, grains of charred rice and Neolithic Celts, confirming the presence of the Neolithic period 2,800 years ago. Archaeologists have made plans to return to Adichanalore as a source of new knowledge in the future. See also History of Afghanistan History of Bangladesh History of Bhutan History of India History of Nepal History of Pakistan 
History of Sri Lanka Prehistoric Asia Notes References External links Modern humans' arrival in South Asia may have led to demise of indigenous populations. Science Daily, 2005.